Happy New Year's, guys. Um, today's January 2nd, and uh, right now, all of us, I mean, probably a lot of you are waking up and your head kind of hurts, but that's okay. Um, today, man, my biggest thing is I've been listening to this guy. His name's Grant Cardone. And what I've done, uh, what I've realized throughout the years of me welding, um, one of my biggest things is is I don't learn anymore. Like that, like up to about two years ago, I never learned anything. I was all about entertainment. I was all about I'm gonna listen to the radio. I'm gonna li I'm gonna go home and watch TV. I'm gonna go, you know. Nothing was ever learning, and nothing was ever there to better myself. So when 16 hit, and, and well, I guess it was November 15 or 2015. Um, when everything disappeared and it was gone, I panicked. And I mean, throughout these years of me welding, my creativity has gone to zero. Like, it really is zero. It, it was zero. Um, what I would do every morning, I'd get up, I'd go weld, I'd go make my money for the day, and then I'd go home and go hang out. That was it. And, uh, I never really thought about bettering myself. I thought I'd made it, is what kind of gone gone through my mind. Is I thought I'd made it, and uh, I mean, when you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year, hundred plus a year, uh, I mean, your creativity is zero, if you let it be. Um, so one of the things is is goals, and one of the guys that I listen to, Grant Cardone. And I've turned my truck into a mobile office since. I mean, I listen to a business book every trip I take. I mean, I don't care if it's 30 minutes, I will go to work listening to a business book, I will come home listening to a business book, and now my brain is starting to think of business ideas. There, it's, it's a lot more creative than it was. And I believe learning is, is the way to stimulate that and make it make you expand your horizons basically um so one of the guys i listen to grant cardone extremely motivational guy um one of the things he talks about is writing down your goals and i remember when i started when i was a helper and i was learning how to fit and i was learning how to do all this stuff i hated being a helper um one of the biggest things that was a drawback to me for being the helper was I made a $1,500 a week check and the welder that just sat there and welded and watched me fit and cut and grind and and hand him rods and everything else, he was making the $4,500, $5,000 a week check and I was the little grunt doing all the work and all he had to do was weld and uh, show up in a truck every day. So one of the things I did when I was a helper is I sat there and I... And this is before I started reading any books. I mean, I didn't really understand goals. I didn't really understand how my mind worked. But I sat down and I wrote it down, I mean, once a week. Uh, tried to do it every day, but I would sit there and write it down. All right, how am I gonna get a welding machine? How am I gonna get a truck? And, and, and the thing is, I wrote it down as if I'd already had it. I have an SA200 welding machine. I have a three quarter ton, truck I have you know I just I did it as if I already had it it took me I believe two months after I sat down and I was kind of like hey listen this I got to do this this is I don't want to help anymore and I, I got to better myself so I sat down had them all wrote out and I started making phone calls and guys you can write down every goal you want in the world and you can write it down a hundred times a day and if you don't push and actually take an action towards it that goal is gonna stay on a piece of paper and you will never achieve it you need to take action and actually push to go get your goals and write them down the thing about writing them down every morning and every night is that in the morning, right when you wake up, keep that pad right there by your head. Write down your goals for the day. Or f not for the day, sorry. That's e that's too easy. You already know your goals for the day. Write it down for the year. Write it down for six months from now. Get your goals figured out. Write them down every day. And what it does is after you write that goal down every day, you're going to go to work. 
And that goal is going to be sitting right here all day. And you're going to be thinking, man, how am I going to get me an SA200? How am I going to get me an SA200? I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do bold up for a little while. And this is how I'm going to get my SA200. So what I did when I got my first weld machine is I wound up calling a guy out of Casper. I had, I, I mean, I slobbering over an SA200. I wanted me a weld machine so bad my teeth hurt. And these welders would always laugh at me because that's just how welders are. They're just kind of mean and not that cool. I try not to be that way, but sometimes I'm that way. But anyways, I think why they're that way is because they probably have a lot of helpers that are like, oh my gosh, I want to weld. I want to weld. And then they never do anything about it. And they just stay helpers till they're 40 and then, you know, and then they're depressed. But anyways, this is for more than just being a welder or whatever, but this is how I did it to be a welder. So what it was, I wound up calling a guy out of Casper and I rigged a deal up with him. I said, listen, man, I said, I'm a welder's helper. Uh, I needed 200. And he's like, man, I got two of them sitting right here. I said, what do you want for them? He says, I want uh, $4,000 for it. And and he rebuilt them and whatever. It, it is out of Casper, Wyoming. And uh, what what happened is that he says, I want 4,000 bucks for it. And I told him, I said, man, I said, if you will let me bring you $1,000 right now, I will pay you five grand for that welding machine and a set of leads. And I mean, he gave me an old set of leads and and the welding machine. He says, come up, man. He says, I'll, I'll rig a deal up with you. He says, you bring me a thousand bucks, I'll load this machine in the back of your truck right now. Um, how I did it, I don't know. I think he was like the fourth guy I called trying to set up a deal like that. And uh, I wound up paying a thousand dollars more than what it was worth, but I had a 200. I, it was sitting in the back of my truck. And I mean, my brain started working when I was writing these goals down. It was like, but dude, you need to rig something up. I don't care if you got to pay another thousand dollars over what it's worth. You make that money, but you need to get a welding machine so you can start practicing every day, every morning, every day, all breaks, lunches. I didn't eat for like, hell, I don't even know. <laughs> it was a long time. I might, you know, I might go in and eat dinner when it was too dark to be out there, but, uh, yeah, anyway, so my teeth just hurt for that weld machine. Went, wound up going up there, got that SA200. That machine blew up on me uh, right after my first job. But it was a great machine. It got me to where I needed to be is what it was. And it was a great opener to how it worked. Uh, the other thing that happened, and, and what I talk about, what I mean about goals is you need and, and you need to take an action to make it happen. I mean, you can write a goal down all you want, but unless you take an action, you will it, it's not going to go anywhere. So what happened is I got this welding machine, and I practiced for like three months, and by no means was I a good welder. Uh, <laughs> uh, I actually wound up going down, and I tested for Joe Max down in Greeley, Colorado. I And that was a whole other goal that I had. I wrote down a goal. I said, fine, I, I have a job. I have a welding job. I wrote that down for three months. And I got online and Googled oil field welding jobs. <laughs> or oil field companies is what I did, I think. Welding companies, maybe oil field companies, I don't remember. But I got a list of like 500 of them in Colorado. I wound up calling probably 200 of them. I mean, I just sat there and just called and called, asked if they needed welders. Bob McQuarrie um, from Joe Max, he wound up answering the phone call and he says come down he says i'll test you uh test you this day and i said awesome i said sounds good so i wound up going down there busted that first test i was not a good welder i definitely should not have been welding but uh bob he was a good guy um he talked to the inspector and he got me a second test on that deal and i came back four days later and bob sat there and help me get through that test one of the greatest guys i know he's a grumpy old welder but he's one of the greatest guys i know he helped me a lot and uh anyways he got me out on my first job and then he he would basically i had a welder that followed me around and checked all my welds because i was i was that bad and uh so i wound up welding for them for four or five months got a lot better um and I mean, I just thank Bob for letting me do that. That was 
and Joe Max. I mean, Joe Max in general, they, they help me out a lot. So, like I said, when you set a goal, you need to take the action to achieve that goal. And uh, but, but the thing about writing that goal down every morning is it's in your brain when you go to work. And then when you get home, you write it down at night, right before you go to sleep, and it's in your brain as you sleep. Think about ways that you can achieve that goal. Um, I think that's really important. Um, always be trying to better yourself. Listen to people. Like if you want to, if you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars, go listen to somebody that's already done it. Go. I mean, they have literally already made a hundred thousand dollars. Do not take advice from somebody that hasn't done what you want to do. If you want to make a million dollars, go find a million dollar man that wants to, you know, that you can learn from. And the thing is, is you don't have to go be mentored personally by them. A lot of these guys have actually wrote books and they've wrote down their step-by-steps on how to make this kind of money. I want to make a billion dollars. That's my goal. I get Donald Trump stuff. I get anybody that's made a billion dollars. And and I work my way into it. I'm, I'm, I'm learning from people that have already done it. Um, a million dollars is on the way to a billion dollars. So I get people that have made a million dollars. My my goal is, right now I make 100,000 plus. My goal is to make a half a million. And after I make a half a million, I'm gonna go from a half a million to a million, to a million, to 100 million, to 500 million. And I believe you got to take those steps to produce what your goal is. So anyways, uh, long story short, write your goals down every morning, every night. Make sure that you know what they are so that you can think about them throughout the day. It's gonna keep you a lot more motivated to go, go to your job, go work, because now you're working towards something that you want to do. Um, and then make sure you take the appropriate action to start achieving these things. These things might take 10 years to get done, but you've got to have the goal and you've got to have the step-by-step -step on how you're gonna do it. So, anyways, everybody have a blessed new year. Um, hopefully everybody had a safe new year. We're all going back to work. Let's go make our goals happen and, uh, and let's just make our lives better. So, uh, be blessed. Thank you, thank you everybody, and we'll talk to you later.